you doing? And get ready with me. I'm doing absolutely nothing, but I thought it'd be fun to show you guys a little makeup routine, my everyday makeup. Um, so yeah, let's get started and get ready. I already moisturized and washed my face and cleansed everything. So yeah, this is me without makeup. Um, my skin is not thriving right now. I'm well aware of that, but it's fine. Okay, it's okay. I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows and I'm gonna do them off camera just because my eyebrows are a little uneven and they take longer to do than the rest of my face so I don't want to bore you guys with that but if you guys do want an in-depth um, eyebrow routine I can totally make that for you guys if you guys are interested just let me know okay guys so I just got done with my eyebrows they kind of come out bad but it's okay not everybody's gonna have a good eyebrow day all the time you know so it's okay but it's just one of those days where i have a bad eyebrow day but it's fine um this is what they kind of look like right now I'm, I'm gonna continue to blend them out a little bit more with these two brushes this is the sigma larger shade e60 can you see that and then this is the by beauty creations it does have a number on it but it's just like a dome brush this is like a flathead brush um and i'm just gonna keep blending that a little bit more just so you can't see too much of the lines so yeah but i kind of wanted to talk about my eyebrows a little bit more um eyebrows are very uneven and have been for a couple years now they were botched okay don't ever get your eyebrow i need to take out these retainers I was talking so funny and weird. Okay, anyways, um, my eyebrows have been botched for a while now. And the reason for that being is because I got my eyebrows waxed um, instead of like threading and or whatever. But yeah, and they messed them up so bad. I went with the chinitas and they just really messed them up. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about that because it's so hard doing my eyebrows. Um, it takes so much time, so much effort. I literally, it's so hard. And even when I try to do them as nice as I possibly can, they come out so wrong. Um, but yeah, if you guys know of any place out here in the IE that does um, mapping out like eyebrows and will like even them out and stuff, let me know because I really need help with that. But anyways, the that I used for my eyebrows, um, I used this Wet n Wild Brow Micro Brow, brow Pencil um, in the shade, I believe this is, I not say the shade, but I believe it's Soft Brown if I'm not mistaken, but it's by Wet n Wild. And then I used Self Hydrating Camo Concealers and I used the shade Fair Warm, Light Sand, and Light Beige. And I just mixed them a little bit. So, yeah. So now I'm going to move on to primer and I'm going to be using the Elmis Superfood Glow Primer Moisturizer um, and this is vegan by the way so chef's kisses love it. This is honestly like the only primer I will ever use because any other primer that I do use um, tends to irritate my skin and I put a lot. Whoa. I kind of put that in my problem areas. She's kind of all over my face, but I just like how glowy it makes me look. Yeah. Girl, I'm going to keep that in. Anyways, I have like a lot of scarring. These are like fresh, but the rest of my face is a lot of scarring. So, yeah. But anyways, enough of skin talk. When I primed, I'm going to be using two foundations i'm gonna be using the matte and poreless foundation in the shade 128 along with the wet and wild photo focus foundation and the shade 368 golden beige so i'm gonna be mixing these two so i like to apply it with a, a like a flat brush foundation brush i don't know so i'm gonna get some And then I get this, and then I apply some dots as well. I'll add more if I need more, but I'm pretty sure that'll be fine. And then for my sponge, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. beauty sponge. 
I kind of pound at my face very aggressively, but I feel like that's the only way to do it. Like, I don't know. Going in with concealer. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Hydrate and Camo Concealer in shades Light Beige and Light Sand. So I'm going to take a light beige and I'm just going to let it go in right here, this area right here, right here. Okay, and then I'm going to take a light sand and this is a much lighter shade and this is just to brighten up i would be using the fair warm one but i noticed that when i like set my face it leaves like a white cast i think it's because maybe my powder is just a little too light but whatever that's sitting i am going to be getting my powders ready so i'm going to be using the milk makeup um translucent powder and translucent medium and then to bake after I use this because this is more of my skin tone and then I kind of like to dab a little bit on for a brightening effect I'm going to be using the Maybelline New York Fit Me Loose Powder in 5 Fair a little bit of a mess but yeah it's going to make a mess Oops. and then for my powder I like to use this Sponge. it's kind of dirty don't look at that okay and then I'm gonna blend 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 I like to start with my chin then I like to go up my nose I like to do my forehead last just so it doesn't crease and then I like to do my under eye. So all blended. And then I'm gonna blend this one out. Now once that's blended, I'm gonna take my milk powder and I'm just going to press that into the skin. Do the same to the other side. Okay, now I don't want this to dry up, so I'm going to blend it out now. And now I'm going to do the same exact thing and take my milk translucent powder and set all of that. I'm going to set my whole face just really fast and quickly. So I'm going to take this brush by Beauty Creations and it's just like a stippling brush. I honestly think that this is like a foundation brush but I like to just stipple it on my face. So I'm going to take a bit like this and dust off the excess because I don't want too much. And I'm going to just stipple this all over my face and I like to just get it in there. That's why I like using a brush like this rather than a fluffy brush. Do the same to this side. There we go. Now we're ready to put some color back into our face and bronze. I'm going to be using both this um, Tarte palette along with this Iconic London palette. Um, and I'm going to be using this one. And I'm going to be using the shade Crown in this palette. Okay, well, I can't find the brush that I usually use. Um... So I'm just going to make do's with this brush. It's more of a domey brush, but the other brush that I use is more fluffy and like rounded. I don't know. But I also like this brush too. I feel like it gives me um, more control. I don't know. So I'm first going to take this and I'm just going to kind of dab it on my face and brush it up at the same time. So as I'm doing this, um, I was thinking I really want to recreate this hairstyle that I've seen on TikTok. Um, I'll insert a picture right here. So I think that's the hairstyle I'm going to do today. 
but I'm gonna be doing absolutely nothing so I don't know I have to get some pictures in it because it's just a waste of an outfit a hairstyle and a makeup mm -mm. we gotta get some use it's showing up really dark on camera but I swear it's not I like to hold my mirror up at a high angle just so I can see like just so I don't get it like this I don't know I don't really know how to explain things but I'm sure with you guys seeing what I'm doing, you guys will understand. But yeah, back to the hairstyle that I'm talking about. Um, I have no idea. It's going to look good on me because I do have shorter hair. I chopped it off again this year, this beginning of the year. Just because I want a fresh start and I really want to grow my hair out. And it just wasn't growing. So I chopped it. And it's actually growing a lot healthier and I haven't really been doing my hair and stuff. So it's helped a lot, but it really cut me off. Anyways, so I'm going to move on to blush. I'm going to be using the Alamar Cosmetics um, Blush Palette. I'm going to be using the Has Hit Pan. It's more of a corally orangey shade, which I like. I'm going to be mixing it with this elf blush in the shade always cheeky they're kind of similar now that i put them side by side but i don't know i just like to use both of them and to top it all off i'm gonna be using one more i'm gonna be using the pretty vulgar blush in make them blush super cute i really like blush a lot so oh Gonna be taking this like fluffy brush. Okay, now the elf one. I like to place it on the apples of my cheeks, but right here and then just bring it up. Super cute, love it. Now I'm gonna add just a teeny tiny bit of the pretty vulgar one just dab twice. I'm gonna make sure it's at the shape that I want. Crazy that I would never, I used to never put blush on because I would think that it'd make me look like a clown, but I actually really love it and I cannot live without it anymore. I don't know how I ever did it. But anywho. So now I'm going to go back with my Milk Translucent Powder and I'm just going to take some on the edge of my beauty sponge. I'm just going to cut it out a little bit. Just like that, just to cut it out. I'm going to be taking the Fit Me. I'm going to be taking a little bit of that and I'm going to be placing it in like my forehead, under my eyes, and on my T-zone basically. Just a little bit, just for a brightening effect. I don't want to push a lot of the product into my skin because I am going to be um, wiping that away as I continue to push it into my skin. <laughs> and I'm going to be taking my powder brush. I'm just going to do this. I like to stipple it on. And then, for my ending of my eyes, I'm going to take it off with this, um, like, fluffy dough brush. I'm just going to tap. I'm going to be setting my eyelids now. So I'm going to be taking the same two brushes. So I'm going to be taking the same two brushes that I used to blend out my concealer. I'm going to be taking the Milk Translucent Powder. So, I like to make sure that there's no creasing or nothing with the flat brush. And then I like to go in with the powder and just set it just like that. And I repeat the same process on this side. Um... I learned how to do makeup through my sister on YouTube. I was obsessed with watching my sister 
sit at her vanity and just beat her face. And that's what I would do. I would have my little chair next to her and would sit there. I would also watch my mom, but my mom doesn't wear a lot of makeup. She's just naturally beautiful, you know? She just wears like some mascara. That's pretty much it. And some powder. So literally all she wears. She has the most flawless skin ever. Love her. That's sit right next to them and watch them beat their face. And yeah. Now it's time to set this face. So I'm gonna be taking my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite setting spray. This is the Giovanni Hydrating Facial Prime and Setting Mist. This is in green tea and fresh rose water. So I'm just going to air my face out with something. So I'm taking like my little handy thing in here. Close my eyes. I'm gonna try to not make a funny face because I always like roll my eyes back and it looks like I'm getting possessed. Um, or so my sister says. So I'm going to just close my eyes and relax. Well, that's what I look like now. I love applying setting spray, setting spray because now I just feel like everything's like blended and soaked into my skin and just looks like so much better. So all I have left to do are my eyelashes and my lips. So I'm going to be doing that off camera, but I'll get back to you guys when I'm done with that and when I get started on my hair. So I'll be back. Hi guys. <sighs> So it's a much later now and I completely forgot that I was even recording this video. Like I said, it's like an hour or two later. My hair is done, my makeup is done. Before I show you guys my outfit, um, I wanted to let you guys know the curling wand that I used. I used the Ion Magnesium Pro wand with the biggest barrel that it comes with. And then I just did these like bubble braid um, things. At first I... Ew, that was the ugliest face ever. Um, at first, I wasn't sure how I felt about them, but they're kind of growing on me now. I really like them. And then I just left, like, these little two strands in the front. And, yeah. My lips, all I used... Let me show you guys. All I used was this Italia lip liner in natural beige. And then I just lined my lips, and then I used this elf, um, lip gloss, my favorite lip gloss. It's in Mocha Twist. So yeah, let me show you guys my outfit. So this is my outfit. Um, this black tank top shirt is from Forever. These pants, I believe, are from Forever as well. And I'm just wearing my Doc Martin Jaden platforms in white. Yeah, guys, this is my outfit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials. I have them in the description box below. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. Bye.